Hello, こんにちは。レイナです。Hi, everybody. It's me, Reina. Today, again, I'm going to be making a video in both English and Japanese mixed together, as you already know that I hate adding subtitles afterwards. Yes. そう、今回もね、日本語と英語ね、くしゃこに動画を作りたいと思います。なぜならもう皆さんもご存知の通り、私は訳を後々につけるのがあまり好きではないのです。はい。Hey you guys, have you checked the video that I uploaded about two weeks ago regarding Tony's schooling that made me surprised and worrisome at the same time? No, you haven't? If not, then go check it out after this video, okay? But anyways, in that comment section of the video, there was a video link that shared by one of my YouTube friends about schooling in Finland. And I checked it and my brain started to go wild. ねえねえみんな2週間ぐらい前に私が上げた動画を見てくださったかしらあのトニーの学校についてなんだけどあのこれすごいねこれ面白いよねとかうわこれやばいとかっていうのを入れてたやつなんだけどえっ、ー、ともし見てなかったらこのビデオを見た後に見に行ってねでねあのそのビデオのコメント欄でね YouTube のお友達がねリンクをね、シェアしてくれてたの、ビデオの。そのビデオはっていうのは何ですかって言ったら、フィンランドの学校についてだったのね。で、それを見たらさ、私の頭がキーってなって考え始めちゃってさ。そう、だからこのビデオでは、そのビデオが何のお話だったのか、そして何が私の頭をこうやって刺したのかっていうお話を皆様とシェアしたいと思います。Before getting to that, you guys already know, right? When I do this blah 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 types of video, which means this is a discussion video, okay? So, when you have anything in your mind, Just write it down below and we can share the ideas and we can communicate, alright? で、そのお話に入る前にね、みんなもう分かってると思うけど、私がこう、べーってとりあえず喋るビデオっていうのは、ね、アイディアをこう交換するっていうものなので、何かありましたらもう書いといてください。そしてお話ししましょう。In this Finland video, it was saying that Finland was ranked fairly low in this global education ranking, but it took over world number one position in early 2000. And in this video, educators and school board or whoever it is is discussing or talking about how they achieve this goal. So, in Finland, in the video, 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 This video covered a lot of things, but first thing they talked about was no homework. Yeah, no homework. Do you remember the last video about Tony's schooling? What made me worried was Tony not getting any homework. Yeah, but, okay, educators in Finland think s that homework is not necessary, and some actually believe that it is obsolete. Yeah, having a homework is obsolete. I do kind of get it, but, but before I get into my own opinion, but that's what they are talking about. No homework. Because kids should spend more time for themselves, like socializing or playing, and then there is more important thing to do than doing a homework. 何がフィンランドの教育でそんなに特別かって言ったらね、このビデオではいろんなことが取り上げられてるんだけれど、まずはじめに取り上げたのがね、そう、宿題がない。そうなの。宿題がないんだって。見てくれた人はわかるかもしれないんだけど、私の前の動画で、私がね、そのトニーでちょっと心配だなと思うのは、トニーが全然宿題がないっていうことに問題っていうか、あの、なんていうの心配を抱えてるって言ってたんだけど、そうなの。フィンランドの教育者たちはね、ホームワーク、宿題はね、必要じゃないと。で、宿題っていうのはね、もうある意味でね、古いアイディアだっておっしゃっているわけだ。子供たちは子供でいるべきだと。で、子供たちっていうのは、その、友達と仲良くしたりとか、遊んだりっていう方の方が、宿題に時間費やすよりも、時間を費やすべきことだって考えてるみたい。By the way, this video was made by Michael Moore and he interviewed several kids about homework. These kids are in high school, I believe, but they only spend 10 to 20 minutes tops for their homework. Yeah, 20 minutes tops. Can you believe that? As Japanese, it is really hard to believe. Not necessarily meaning that I have spent a lot of time studying, which I did not, but most of my friends actually spend a lot of time studying. Even going to school after school to get a better grade. 
ちなみにねこの動画はねアメリカのねそのマイクル・モーアっていう人が作ったドキュメントなんだけれどもでそこでね生徒さんたちに、ね、インタビューをしてるわけこの子たち私が思うより高校生ぐらいだと思うんだけれども高校生でもね宿題に費やす時間はね10分からねマキシマムでね20分なんですってで日本人の私からしてみればすごく驚きなわけじゃないまあ私がそんな勉強したからしてないわけじゃないんだけれども私のお友達は学校行った後に塾に行ってでねもっとより良い成績を収めようって頑張ってたからさ。According to this video, I think it's mainly about elementary school, but the Finnish kids only go to school 20 hours a week. Yeah, 20 hours a week. It says Monday, maybe two hours, Tuesday, three hours. It's all depending on the days, but in average, 20 hours a week. And then Finland school has the shortest days and the shortest year. So, which means spending less time at school, but they do better. Very interesting, isn't it? で動画によるとね、小学生の話ね、週にね、20時間だけ学校行くんだって、月曜日が2時間だったり、水曜日が3時間だったりとか、その曜日によって変わるみたいなんだけど、まあ平均的に20時間と週にね。で、そんで、フィンランドって、あの、学校に行く時間も短ければ、その学、学期っていうその1年に行く量も一番少ないんだって。だから、子供たちが学校に行かなければ行かないほどよろしいっていうね、ことになってるの。なんか面白くない Also, the curriculums in Finland are all based on a student. So, student centered arranged classrooms. So, they don't just teach. They are providing a place for the kids to learn what they want to learn. That's what the theory is about. Of course, I don't think they only teach what they want. I think they teach something that needs to be taught as well. But they said it's a student centered. And also, it says kids are very independent. Yeah, so they, they basically proactively try to learn instead of sitting back and then being passive and say, teacher, teach me. 学校がやってる内容っていうのも生徒中心でやってると。生徒がやりたいことをやっていると。もちろんね、生徒がやりたいことだけやってるとは思わないよ。もちろんね、やらなければいけないこともきっとやってると思うんだけれども、基本的に生徒が中心で行われてるってことね。ですごく生徒もあのこう独立して、個々を確立していると。In the video, all the educators are strongly suggesting that it is a good idea to eliminate the standardized exam, national -wide, nationwide test, I should say. Yeah, because otherwise, kids are studying for the exam, not for themselves, and also teachers teach for the test, not for the children, and a class will be organized to arrange for the exam, not for the true education teaching kids, right? Yeah, so it's all about exams. That's why they believe that standardized test should be all eliminated. ビデオではね、教育者の方たちがね、たくさんこれを訴えてたの。なんで、統一テストってあるじゃん。国家試験みたいなのとか、と学生がもうみんなが一斉に受けるテスト。そういうのはやめろって。なんでかって言ったら、それをすることで生徒がテストのために勉強し始めて、クラス自体もテストのためのクラスになってしまうと全てがね。全部がテストのためになってしまって、本当である子供に何かを教えるっていうものじゃなくなってしまうと。だからやめろと。まあ、それもわかる、私はね。And Michael Moore asked if there is no standardized exam and how the kid would know which school to go to in the future, right? Because usually school has different levels and stuff. But they said all schools in Finland are equal. All equal. And it is also illegal to set up a school to charge people. So, which means rich, poor, doesn't matter. Everybody goes to the same school and get education. Yeah, same level of education. で、そんでね、マイケル・ムーアがね、質問するわけよ。で、そういう風な統一テストみたいなのがなかったら、じゃあね、どうやって後々ね、学校を選択できるのって。やっぱさ、学校ってこう、レベルが違うわけじゃないそうしたらね、先生たちが言うわけよ。いや、あの、すべて同じのレベルだからって。そんなの。全部同じのレベルなんだって。でね、フィンランドでは、あの、今日、学校をね、建てて、お金を取っちゃいけないんだって。だから、お金がお持ちの人でも、お金持ってない人でも、みんな同じ学校に行って、みんな同じ学、あの、教育を受けると。Yeah, I do understand it is stupid to rank which elementary school is better than the other and stuff because it's a basic education thing that kids go through. But without having any competitiveness, okay, I'm not sure if they can be prepared to get into this competitive world. Of whatever it is, university or society. Yeah, of course, it is stupid to have a competitiveness, okay? Because I hate this part, okay? I really hate it. でね、もちろんね、小学校の中でさ、あっちの学校がいい、こっちの学校がいいとかってランキングついてるのは私バカバカしいことだと思うの。なんてかったらある意味義務教育じゃないうん、わかるよ、わかるよ、いいんだよ。だけど、本当に全部の学校が同じかって調べてみたわけよね。
ね。そうしたらね、やっぱね、大学になると、やっぱそのレベルが違うって出てくるわけ。で、そうなるとさ、やっぱり、ふんって思っちゃうんだよね。だってやっぱりね、競争世界なわけじゃない ?For me, it is a stupid idea to compete with someone because it is better to just compete, you know, within yourself and do best you can do, right? だからって私がね、今ね、競争社会だとかって言ったからってね、それを私がサポートしてると思わないで、なんでかって言ったら私はね、そのね、競争するってのがバカバカしくてたまらないわけ、いつでもね。競争は自分の中ですればいいじゃない、別に誰かとする必要ないでしょ。But this is what happens in Japan though, right? In elementary school, we just take tests. And that's it. But in junior high school, we get this report card every time we have a test, like a midterm and a finals. And we are all ranked. Yeah, individually. And when I was in junior high school, I hated it because I studied for myself for this so called standardized test in school. And then I tried my best, okay? And my average was usually like a 90%, 90% which is great, right? But because I was ranked in number 10, because there are other kids who's better than me, of course. And then I was being scolded. Yeah. Yeah, my mom was the kind of person that be the best you can be. だってさ、日本ではこうじゃない学校行くじゃん。小学校はテスト受けるだけじゃんね。中学校からさ、あの、レポートカードにさ、何番ですって順位つけられるでしょそんなことなかった私はそうだったんだよね。そうで、私は平均点90点取ろうとかって頑張って90点取るじゃないなのに順位なわけよ、学年でね。なんでかって私よりできる子がいるわけじゃない。そうするとママに怒られるわけよ。There, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that my mom was awful. My mom is amazing, okay? I love my mom. But about when it comes to this schooling or testing, she get a little too crazy. Yeah. So sometimes that when I get the bad score, or not a bad score, I get a good score, but a bad ranking on the report card, what I did was I talked to my dad first, right? Because he could ease the situation down for me, dealing with my mom about it, you know? <laughs> yeah. But that was kind of a Funny story, but that's how it was. Ranking is ridiculous. Competitive is ridiculous because we are supposed to be studying for ourselves, right? So, standardized tests shouldn't be there. I do agree with it because, you know, I was, what I was doing was I was just trying to study for the exam instead of studying for myself. とか言ってね、今みんなね、誤解しないでよ。ママのこと嫌いだとか、ママが似合わない人とか言ってるわけじゃないから、ね、私ママのこと大好きだからね。そこは誤解しないようにね。そう、だけど、やっぱりその教育のことになるとね、ってなるじゃないで、そんで、そのテストとかをもらうじゃん。結果をで悪いとさ、パパに言ってさ、ちょっとパパーつって、そんなパパがさ、その状況を和らげてくれるからってなって、まあ楽しい思い出だったんだけれども、もうほんと道にそれてしまってごめんなさい、お話が。In this video, there is one thing it struck me the most.This lady, the teacher said, okay, I'm gonna read it, so hold on a sec.What she said was, school is about finding happiness and about finding a way to learn What makes you happy? Get it? Get it? School is about finding happiness, okay? And finding a way to learn what makes you happy. Doesn't this statement make you think at least a little bit? Yeah, it did to me, you see? でね、このビデオの中でね、何が一番ドーンって私に来たかって言ったらこれなんだよね。ちょっとこれ読むね。School is about finding happiness. ね、学校というのはね、幸せを見つけることだと。ね。それから、school is about, 学校っていうのはこうである、こうだと。finding a way, あの、道を見つけるんだって。何の見つけ、道を見つける場所かって言ったら、何があなたを幸せにしてくれるのかっていうのを学ぶ場所であるべきだと。わかるわかる言いたいこと。なんかさ、びっくりしちゃったんだよね。right now, what I'm hoping for Tony from school is to learn how to socialize, you see? I want Tony to learn or meet so many different people and make a lot of friends and have a great time and then be a better person as a friend or as a person. That's what I really hope Tony to learn at school, right? And also, you know, as a Japanese, hopefully he can learn some mathematics and those basic stuff we learn from school, right? At school. But I've never thought of school as the place to learn how to find happiness or finding a way to learn what makes you happy. Never thought of that. 私はね、トニーにね、学校ではね、いろんな人と出会って、いろんな友達と遊んで、ね、いろんな友達作って、ね、人間としてどういう風になるべきかとかって、そういうことをね、一生懸命学んでほしいわけ。もちろんね、その基礎的なものも、算数とかもそうなんだけれども
。でもさ、これって考えさせられないなんかさ、ふんとかって思わない思わない私すごい思っちゃったんだよね。どう Okay, these are the things that video was talking about, and after I watched it, it made me wonder, right, if this works in anywhere in the world. Because, for instance, in Japan, as I just told you, we are ranked as a student, and we do have standardized tests, and also we do have homework, and also about this、uh, few hours at school thing, too. Because in Japan, I think they try to implement this idea, cutting down on the hours at school, right? But it didn't work out at all. Because what happened was, yeah, they cut down the hours at school. So, started off with no school on Saturday and cutting down some music and stuff, I believe. And then Japanese education level plummeted, just took a nosedive, right? And also, we still have this super competitiveness, like which school to go to. Like an elementary school, kinder, no, kindergarten, even have an entrance exam kind of thing. And then junior high school, they have the major, major exam so that they can get into better university and be in a better society and such and such. That's how the Japanese society is. でもね、これがね、世界各国どこでも通用する方はできないと思うんだよね。だって例えばさ、日本だったら、日本でも頑張ったみたいじゃないあの、ゆとり教育ってそういうことだったんだと思うんだ、きっと。ねだってフィンランドのこういう時間を下げれば、ね水準が上がったっていうことを目的で多分入れたんだと思うの。なのに結局は、ね、時間を削るだけっていう形になっちゃったから、ねあのー、教育の水準が下がっちゃったとかさ。だから、ただ単にこのままうまくやれば他の国もうまくいくとは思えないんだよね。どう思う ?You know what I'm trying to get to? Yeah, totally. I agree with what's happening in school in Finland because it is great for, you know, ideal situation for children, for sure. But does it work in Japan? I don't think so. Is it working in Canada? Might be because、um, education level in Canada is pretty high. It's ranked as pretty high. Right now, I just actually checked it before making a video. Canada was ranked as number three. Is it? I, I don't know. I might not be right. And by the way, the first was the UK, and then two United States, and three Canada. And Japan was number nine, and Finland was number 16. I don't think this system that Finland implemented in their schooling system could actually implement it in a different country s because it is totally different in country and countries, right? Because as I just mentioned about Japan, about cutting down the hours, and also I happened to run into the article about the daycare crisis in the Washington state in the United States. Yeah, if they cut down on the school hours, that means parents have to find daycare for their children, no? And then this area in Washington state, basically it is called daycare desert because there's not, basically not enough at all. I don't know what's happening in Finland. I think when I was kind of checking what's happening in the world about this education thing, and then、uh, they. They said that there was a daycare program included in this system. Yeah, see? So, that daycare program thing has to be taken into consideration if we're gonna use this system in a different country. So, now, I'm going to say that daycare is not going to be able to do it. I'm going to say that the daycare is not going to be able to do it. So, I'm going to say that the daycare is not going to be able to do it. So, I'm going to say that the daycare is not going to be able to do it. So, I'm going to say that the daycare is not going to be able to do it. 預ける場所がないっていうことになるわけじゃない。そんで私が思うに、この動画撮る前にちょっとパーって見たときにね、フィンランドはそのデイケアプログラムもあったと思うんだ。そう、だからそういうのもきちんと踏まえた上で、ね、ちょっとこういうの取り入れていかなきゃいけないのかと思うんだけど、どう思うどう思う ?And also we have to think about culture behind the country too.You know what I mean? There's so many things to think about.And then, because as I said, my brain went crazy. And then this video is going nowhere. You know what? I actually am confused right now because I'm not sure what I'm talking about now. Damn it. Yeah, because I'm always blurred out and I go here and there and everywhere. But what is your take on this?、Uh, what's happening in Finland? Yeah, do you think whatever Finland implemented in their school to be the top number one in the world, do you think does it work in your country? 
And if you have some ideas on what your government or country could do to make it better, please share with me, okay? Yeah, so what do you think? What do you think? And as a mother, I actually wanted to talk about more, but I don't think I should. もう どう思う他の国に入れてもうまくいくと思う日本だったらうまくいくと思うそれとも日本じゃ無理かねで日本だったらどういう風にやったらうまくいくかなっていうお話を皆さんとシェアできたら嬉しいなと思ってますのでコメ